making the government your bitch. So, that's how the world works if you're a Walton or one of the Cock brothers. I think that might be pronounced Coke, but they spell it Cock. Here's a salute to the rest of the heartless, self deluded billionaires like you. The wealthy oligarchy's chief benefit of lower debt is a weaker middle class with less bargaining power. How desperate would the ordinary American be if they had no unemployment insurance to cushion the blow of a loss of income? Most people have a zero net worth, and their bills are bigger than their incomes. That turns around about the time their kids grow to self sufficiency. Well, that is if it ever really happens. Then their great hope is to work their way out of debt before they die. The combination of our government having low taxes for extended periods of years, and a growing number of ordinary Americans adopting a philosophy of demonizing debt has a real potential to make America into a third world country. In my relatively short life, including the history I know of third hand from school books, and second-hand accounts from family, every major market bubble and burst has managed to take power from the middle class and hand it to the wealthy. Show me where middle class puts money to plan for retirement and I'll show you where the next big rip-off happens. I think that song, Take This Job and Shove It, was way too irritating to wealthy people. If you can sing that song and mean it, then you have some semblance of power. You think the wealthy went through all the trouble of becoming ludicrously powerful because they want inferiors to act like they have bargaining power. To them, that shit has got to stop, and stop now. As long as common people have enough savings to look around for a job they want instead of begging for subsistence pay and doing what they're told without question, the wealthy can't feel at ease. I think we as Americans, not real Americans, but all Americans, have focused too much on life liberty and the pursuit of happiness from the declaration of independence and not enough on of the people by the people for the people from the Gettysburg address the former quote is the house you build the latter is the foundation you build it on Lincoln was wrong when he said government of the people by the people for the people shall not perish from the earth our current house has had its foundations removed. Lincoln's dream has perished. Well, don't just sit there, do something. Go to house.gov and find out how to contact your representative, then tell them how you really feel about this.